and Chapman City the most streaming group this year than in all the years she has been here at Murphy. Although I'm celebrating this accomplishment, it is with a sad heart that I do put him in the district my resignation. Um, finally, um, resource room 13 consistently violated the Privacy Act of 1974. Sensitive information discussed about students with an IQ needs and the Army needs, as well as staff needs, as well as other children with need in that room, to information about their peers. No safeguards were ever discussed, and I was told this step was not a violation. Our district mission statement quotes the quality learning environment, as well as our mission statement stating excellence in all we do. Three teachers starting in Catholic space in room 13 sends a message that special education needs were not a priority. The impact of funding by the district's leadership in the special education department has been unprofessional. I have spoken to I have been spoken to an email and a person with less aggressive tones and harassment. I have endured this unprofessional treatment to the point that I had anxiety attacks that forced me to miss work, not once but twice. Our PD focused on establishing collective advocacy within the school community because it strongly contributes to the measurement and overall school achievement. How the special ed administration communicated to us affected our collective advocacy in a negative way. For success of any organization, mental health wellness is to be considered a priority within its employees. I tried reaching out to my union for support, but I was informed that this exact treatment of people had been going on for many years and that similar complaints about the leadership in the special education department has been submitted and shamefully the language in the contract to which the board voted for protects this type of treatment and nothing changes. So I end with this, the overall impact of this type of treatment ultimately affects our most vulnerable scholars, our special education students. John Hattie's research about positive relationships between students and their teachers combined with teacher advocacy is what truly accelerates growth. How can teachers demonstrate teacher advocacy with fidelity when their own leadership promotes division by talking bad about new teachers trying to adjust and manage new rules and routine to the point of quitting? I implore you to consider what I've already spoken of. Our special ed scholars deserve better. Our special ed parents invest themselves in our students day in and day out, and they talk about pays their employees more. Our special scholars deserve better, and I'm asking you here to be better for our special ed population because they deserve it. Thank you. Oh, 
<laughs> he said, I could go on for pages and pages. It's hard to encapsulate the value that she brings to our building. Connie is quite simply the most outstanding paraprofessional and educators I've ever worked with. There's not a parent, a student, or a teacher that wouldn't agree. She genuinely <coughs> loves the kids and it shows every day. She's a true asset to Zimmer and a perfect example of how educators can positively impact the lives of not just their students, but everyone around them. So come on up, ladies. And, and all of these ladies used to work or or we have <laughs> <laughs> work. You sit down. I
you have the approval of minutes of May 1st, 2024. Set organizational meeting for 9 a.m. on July 19th, 2024. Michigan High School Athletic Association 2024-2025 membership resolution and Michigan Association of School Board <coughs> Right, but it's not on the front it's agenda. It's not on the agenda. agenda. Yeah. That's what I was so just add that. So I just add that. Yeah, so we'll just add on to our agenda. Um, it's in our packet. Set the budget hearing for um, the budget for 7 p.m. on June 26, 2024. Any consent group? that the probationary teacher performance resolution be approved as presented with support. Okay. I have a motion and support. Any discussion on the motion? Okay. Hearing none. Dr. Novak? Aye. Ms. Zuleka? Aye. Dr. Watson? Aye. Mrs. LeBar? Aye. Ms. Hofer? Aye. Ms. Butler says aye. Motion carries. And then the last item is updated. I make a motion that the Assistant Superintendent of Business Contract be approved as a present. Support. Okay. A motion and a support. Any discussion on the motion? Okay. Hearing none. Dr. Novak? Nay. Ms. Zuleka? Aye. Dr. Watson? Aye. Mrs. LeBar? Aye. Ms. Hofer? Aye. Ms. says aye. Motion carries. I'll uh, start off with our Leader Fund golf outing happened on June 1st, uh, this past Saturday, um, and uh, we had a full squad, 36 teams out there. We had 50 some sponsors. We had a ton of volunteers. Um, great weather, great day, uh, absolutely packed. So um, it looks like uh, we're going to hit somewhere just under $20,000 for the event, somewhere in there, you know, 16, 17, 18 somewhere when it all cleans up so we're not done with that so um, overall just absolutely successful day so we can add that into our leader fund grouping and you know leader fund is getting somewhere near four hundred fifty thousand dollars we've donated back since 2015 so um, we keep plugging away and um, doing well so thank you to our partners thank you to everyone who, who helped out volunteered uh, donated played etc so thank you out the night before, beautiful weather, couldn't have been more thankful, um, and then tomorrow night is the high school, so just looking forward to that. I think with that, I'll turn it over to you, Superintendent. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I did want to announce, and uh, special thanks to Karen and her public comment, our fireworks cleanup will be on July 4th, beginning at 8 a.m. We are putting that out on social media to any interested community member that Space, it 
it's such a large area um, and there is I think more interaction when you drive by it doesn't look like anything had the night before but when you start walking it it's incredible the amount of interaction we took out of that place last year so um, also you know we have to Jerry was the man and we're gonna miss him too he was such a such a positive force not only in this in that day and Graduation activities uh, have been great thus far. Uh, echo the sentiments um, from other board members. Um, we ask for your patience this summer as the bond work really gets underway. This will undoubtedly be our busiest summer as it relates to construction happening. We did recently send out official wide communication letting parents know adjusted schedules and hours of operation for the buildings here at ASC, some adjusted dates for back to school activities, things like houses registration schedule pickup will be impacted by bond construction so we just ask for your patience lots of great improvements happening across the district so this is good stress um, it's a great time of year to celebrate our kids uh, you know Craig mentioned leader fund outing we've got cheers for children on Friday some of our local philanthropic groups are having um, their spring and summer fundraisers and it really is heartening to be a part of uh, all those events that culminate in nights like Monday. So our honors night, where we honor the academic achievements of our best and brightest students, is also, what is also on display that evening is the dozens of community organizations who spend their entire year fundraising to literally give our kids hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarship money. And listen to the amount of money and the number of awards distributed in a two and a half hour period is literally mind-numbing to sit back and think about, you know, just the spaghetti dinners and golf outings and, you know, a chicken dinner and all the stuff that our community does. Our kids will never meet most of these people. Most of us don't attend a majority of these events. We're lucky to maybe go to three, four, or five golf outings a year, go to a couple fundraisers. But all these things are happening. And when you hear the phrase, look here at community schools, it isn't just school personnel, it isn't just teachers classroom it isn't just our employees it truly is a community who don't know the kids are fundraising for in many instances they just know they want to give and so um, on behalf of um, the organization look here at community schools uh, just a very heartfelt thank you to our community those watching those here this evening thank you on behalf of our kids and our staff for continuing to do all that work that I just it's a lot of work it's a lot of work so um, and, and Craig you know the sacrifice of having to commit to a seven and a half hour golf outing is well worth it. <laughs> the Leader Fund distributes all of those scholarship awards. Yes. I was thinking about that as I was sitting there listening to the thousands of dollars Leader Fund gave that my small sacrifice was having to golf <laughs> just a shade of eight hours on Saturday. Um, and uh, with that, that concludes my comments. So thank